Tonight, we know more details about the trial involving two well-known pain doctors after opening statements wrapped up about an hour and a half ago. News 5's Emily DeVoe was listening in on those statements, and she joins us now live outside the courthouse. Emily? Well, Mel, kind of like a roadmap, if you were planning a cross-country trip and wanted to point out some of your stops, the prosecution listed some of the witnesses and pieces of evidence they plan to bring up throughout the nearly two-month trial. Now, some of these witnesses you'll recognize, at least four of them, because they've already pleaded guilty. And after the prosecution went, of course, the defense tried to discredit some of those, and Dr. Couch's attorney said he predicts some of these witnesses might lie on the stand, specifically nurse practitioner Justin Palmer, who, you know, forged Dr. Couch's signatures on prescriptions. Why? Well, prosecution says it was to make more money for the doctors, but the defense will tell you it was to feed Palmer's own pain pill addiction. Nothing to do with Dr. Couch. Of course, the buzz, feed, the buzz word throughout this case has been pill mill ever since the arrest a year and a half ago, and defense Attorney Dennis Nisley said today was the first time he'd heard the prosecution refer to it as a money mill instead. Well, uh, we've heard that term a lot, right? Uh, and we did hear some qualification of that, did we not today? And, and that, you know, well, maybe not a pill mill, maybe a money mill, maybe not a traditional pill mill was the government's opening statement. So I think they're backing off the characterizations that they have had in the past. Prosecutors would tell you the opposite. They say just because this wasn't a traditional pill mill because they didn't accept cash and you had to have insurance to be a patient there, they'll say that what the doctors were doing was anything, was nothing short of illegal. Of course, they'll have to prove to the jury beyond a reasonable doubt that the doctors are guilty. So we'll just have to wait and see. And this will be a very long trial, roughly almost two months. And coming up at 630, we'll tell you a little bit more about what witnesses might take the stand tomorrow. Reporting in downtown Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5.